Good morning, YouTube. It is Monday, August 29th. <clears throat> and I won't mention it again. <sighs> Last week of August. I won't mention it. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Great weekend. Uh, pool day yesterday. And took the kids uh, for a play date on Monday with a friend of mine. Who's about to burst because she's with child. <laughs> Her second. Um... So, uh, the kids had a blast. And that means they go to sleep longer. And that means mommy can have a blast. <laughs> yeah, so that was the weekend. Oh, on Friday, I took myself all the way from New Jersey to upstate New York, where Woodbury Commons is, to go to the All Saints store to pick up my beautiful black leather, um, <clears throat> uh, my new black leather jacket. I was going to, um... A vlog it but you know it was just me with the two kids and I really I keep my eye on them all the time because there's some weirdos walking around trying to snatch a kid no um so I don't really I didn't really feel comfortable and I was trying to I was kind of in a rush um so I was like eh I won't blog vlog it of course now I'm like oh I wish I had got a couple of snippets of it but um those kids are fast you turn around and all I see are toes hanging out from under oh my ring just went flew right off. I don't know if you saw that. I'll get it later. It was the L&M cuff. I need to tighten it because for some reason it's loose. Anyway, um, yeah, so, you know, you turn around one second, the next second, all you see your toes under a rack and for that split second, you're like, oh, you know, and I'm about to belt out their name and they're tee hee tee -he -he hiding in the clothes rack. I mean, I guess I did it to my mom, but... So I just, I can't, I can't vlog and watch them at the same time. I just won't do it. But anyway, great jacket. It is, um, it was on the All Saints website. It was six fifty, and it is now, it was on sale at the outlet, <clears throat> which is the only stores that have it now. It's the Aster jacket, A-S-T-O-R. It went down to four fifty five with a 20% off that. And I've been looking for an All Saints leather jacket. I have one. Um, in like a brown color, but I wanted a black one. So this one was vintage black, and you know, it's a little more distressed, but it's the scrunchy, you know, pebbled, good leather. It's got the quilting. It's a great jacket, and the zipper isn't that bright silver. It's like a more antique silver, which I love. So I was like, you know what, let me grab it, and love it. So <clears throat> hightailed it there, hightailed it back. I did not even try to go to other stores, because they have delicious stores at Woodbury Commons outlet and there was hardly anyone there but no I just went for my jacket I was very proud of myself and I went home um so I will be showing you guys that jacket soon and it's great because then I can wait for them to really come out with a dark uh, true black leather jacket with gold zippers you know not bright gold but <clears throat> an antique gold and then I can buy that too <laughs> but you know they haven't come out with that in years so Okay, let me grab this jacket. Anyway, I will show that to you soon. Um, and I am in the process of selling my Hermes Evelyn bag, the, the uh, orange one. You know, I bought it in January and I haven't reached for it, haven't wanted to reach for it. And maybe because in the back of my mind I was thinking of selling it. That was a major, major um, <clears throat> spur of the moment purchase. And I really shouldn't have gotten it. Um, I shouldn't have gotten it, especially when I after I got the Chanel. So I am trying to sell it. We'll see how I, um, how that goes. I'm going to use, you know, all the sites I can find, except for consignment shops, because I tried to sell it on, um, was it Fashion File? And they offered me like $1,200. I was like, really? Why are you lowballing me? It, this is a new bag, never been worn. Hell no. So unless I get, um, like a certain amount for it, um, I won't sell it, but, um, I'm going to try and see what I can do. Um, anyway, because I, you know, there are other bags out there I'd actually, I'd rather, and there is actually an Hermes bag. I mean, I love the bag. It's a great bag, and I thought, it's something that I thought I would really like when I got it, but I'm like, eh. So, for that amount of money, eh, hell no. So, we'll try to sell it. The Hermes bag that I really want, I can't remember the name right now, but it's a boxy bag, and it has the gold H. Now, that, that bag, that's a Hermes bag, Hermes bag I would like. But we'll see. If I can sell it marvelous if I can't eh, I'll keep it and smack myself for doing these uh, 
late night purchases. So I have rambled on enough to the outfit. I'm wearing my Ray-Ban, um, what are these, Club Masters with the pink, um, mirrored sun, uh, ooh, they need to be cleaned, mirrored lenses. I uh, thought I would do some blue eyeshadow this morning. This one's a little patchy because this eye keeps freaking, um, it keeps tearing. It's so annoying. Um, dagger earrings, I think I'm going to be wearing this, like, forever. I love it so much. And then I still have the little, um, <clears throat> skeleton here and then just a, a little hoop on that ear. This is also new from Etsy. Um, this was... Uh, it's a little daintier than the HRH collection um, chain, but it's nice. I just ordered a necklace extender because I want it to come down just a little longer. But it's pretty. It is uh, 18, uh, I think it's 18 carat gold plated. I want to see if it turns. I only paid $18 for it, so it won't hurt as much if it does turn. But it, I hope not. It shouldn't turn. Especially if I don't get it wet, you know, or put perfume on it. It should not turn. But I think it's I think it's very pretty. It's much daintier than the HRH collection one, but it's pretty nonetheless. So I got that one from Etsy. Um my L and M cigar cuff that just went flying under the the table over there. You guys know what that is though. And my ring from Mykonos, Polly <clears throat> name cuff and my outfit. Apple. I am wearing my Sophie Hume guy, uh tote. And uh, this skirt I got from Club Monaco years ago, and just a white t-shirt from, uh, this one's from The Gap. I've been living in these t-shirts in the, this summer. Um, yeah, so that's the outfit for today. The shoes are from Circus, which I think, ooh, <laughs> I'm doing this because I'm thinking I'm an idiot. Anyway, the shoes are from Circus there, uh, which is a Sam Edelman company, I believe. Um, so just, you know, kind of sporty today. It's supposed to be hot. Um, and I just, uh, I guess you guys can say it with me. I couldn't be bothered this morning. I have to fix that. Look at that. My eye keeps tearing. I hope I have blue shadow, blue eyeshadow somewhere in my desk. It's <laughs> stupid looking. Anyway, I will be talking to you guys. That is really so, I need to fix that. I will be talking to you guys um, tomorrow. Oh, yeah, and you know what? The lips. Do I have my thing with me? Yeah. The lips are, I don't think they're new, but they're new to me. These Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. The formula is really good for these. They dry. Um, it, it's not shiny, but it's also not dry. Like, you can still purse your lips and it moves. So I like this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick up another color. This color is in... Me and my sister bought this from Target when we were in. Where's the color? Forever. HD Forever. So, you know, and I did mix it with um, a little bit of Beat Lip Liner from MAC because I think this by itself right now, I'm too dark. And it just makes me look kind of strange. So I added just a little bit of color. But yeah, the Revlon, these are pretty good. I'm going to try a, another color when I get to Target. Or CVS, but um, not a bad product from Revlon. I think it was like six or seven bucks. So yeah, and that is it, guys. I better get back to my desk so I can do some work. I will talk to you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Good morning, YouTube. It is uh, Tuesday, August thirtieth. Uh, beautiful, beautiful morning out. So hard to come to work on these kind of days. Um, just beautiful, comfortable, and it's supposed to get a little warmer in the, um, in the day. So I'll make sure I'll go out and enjoy the sunshine. Um, so, uh, straight to the outfit today. Um, oh, I got my um, necklace extender. So, it's a little longer. I think actually now it's the perfect length. Um, so, here's hoping it doesn't turn. I really hope it doesn't. Um, so... So let's start off with some jewelry. This is my necklace from um, Etsy, and I got the necklace extender. I actually got it from Macy's, this part right here. It's a two inch necklace extender from Gianni Bernini. 
and this is also a horn necklace from Etsy. Uh, the shop disappeared, and I ordered a couple of pieces from her. This is from Spain, and I liked her shop, and all of a sudden it's not there anymore, so, oh well. Same earrings, dagger stud, um, little uh, skeleton scud, stud, and a hoop. Uh, Apple watch, same stuff I've been wearing. Um, this little nugget ring, um, and um, this name cuff from Polly. And I'm wearing my Celine's, my Kelly Marcy bag, and this dress that my boss had bought me back from. She went to a little village in France, somewhere in the mountains, and I'm, I love this dress so much. I only wear it like once or twice a year, and I already ripped it, but I will have to, um, I don't know if you can see, it's a little rip right here, but I can take that and get that fixed. Um, so she bought it for me from France. It's beautiful. Um, it's silk, and it has like, let's see if I can get a close up. Just a beautiful dress. She said there was all sorts of colors, and I was like, oh, but I love this color. I actually have another one um, like this um, that I bought. It's also silk. It's like a gold mustard orange color. Very pretty. I don't know if I'm going to wear it um, this year. I haven't worn it. Um, I haven't worn it yet last year either. Huh. Maybe I'll whip it out next week. But it's the same type of dress. That one, the one, the other one is from... It's silk, but it's from India. So these are the easiest, easiest dresses. I wore this a lot when I was pregnant because the belly has a lot of room and it doesn't affect the top. So just very, very pretty. And then it has like here's the little rib, and then it has these little, um, little etching, stitching, and then there's like swaths of. Um, it's just a very pretty dress, a fuchsia color. Very pretty. I love it. And then I'm just wearing it with my um, Laporte shoes. Simple, but I think it works. So yeah, that is the outfit for today. I was actually going to wear something else, hence the grayish, mauve um, eye makeup. But uh, it didn't work out. <laughs> so at the last minute, I whipped this off, whipped off what I was wearing off and threw this on, so, I like it. Very pretty dress. I was gonna put a belt on, but you know what? The dress doesn't need it. So that's it for today, guys, and I just have a black cardigan uh, to throw over it while I'm in the office. Um, I found another beautiful necklace that I may go pick up today. Um, I'm into, I love the layering of necklaces, thanks to Alex from HRH Collection. Like I said, loved her layering pieces, but they didn't work out for me, so now I'm just trying to find pieces that I like just as much as hers that hopefully will not change because I don't want to drop the money on solid gold jewelry right now. Um, so I think I'm going to pick up the other necklace today at Macy's. Um, yeah, and I think it'll look nice here. And I have a couple of pieces coming from... Um, I got one piece coming, another piece from Etsy... It's a lariat necklace and another piece from L&M, which is that POW necklace. I can't, really can't wait for that one to come. Um, so yeah, those are my new pieces coming in, new jewelry pieces. And either this week or next week, I think I'm going to go and do something to my ears. I really want the two hoops that are here, I want to put here now. Um, I'll see, and then change out the jewelry here. So we'll see what I get. Hopefully, either this week or next week, I can go and have some fun with my ears. I need some more bling. My husband's like, they are, I always forget you have them because they're so small, you know. No, that's what I like. I like the, you know, barely there, but there. But anyway, guys, I will talk to you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Good morning, YouTube. It is Wednesday, August the 31st. Last day in August. Uh, slowly coming to grips with it, but I just made a few purchases that should uh, welcome the fall for me and make it a tiny bit more bearable. Um, finally got a Louis Vuitton scarf, so uh, yay, I will be showing you guys that. 
and of course my no buying um, promise has gone strictly out of the window but that scarf is fabulous and it will go very nicely with my new All Saints leather jacket um, I've always wanted I mean not always but <laughs> when I bought the jacket I was like oh now if I can get a big chunky scarf um, I initially wanted a nice big chunky bright color but this scarf that I got is classic and um, it'll look fabulous with that jacket and with every other um, coat I have. Um, I will also be getting rid of all my little fluggy, fugly scarves that I don't really use that have just that are just taking space. Keep the Louis Vuitton and I have my purple Burberry and I think I have a, a camel Burberry too. So th those three scarves I will be keeping. Everything else can go bye bye. I really am trying to downsize the things in my closet because um, I need space and if I don't wear it, what's the sense of having it? So it may go to my niece who should be quite happy. I mean, they're not fugly scarves. I shouldn't say fugly and then I'm going to give them to my niece. They're nice scarves, but um, anyway. Uh, so yeah, I, I can't wait for that to come. I, had, I, I ordered it from the Louis Vuitton website instead of going through my essay at Macy's. They did have the scarf at Macy's. They had one left. Um, but I ordered it through the website because I got no tax and no shipping. Um, and I just paid the price for it. So, sorry, Sonny. Next time. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I can't wait for that to come. I can wait to wear it. But then again, I can't wait to wear it. <laughs> so, um, oh, also picked up this necklace from Macy's. It is 24 karat gold plated. Um, it's a curb necklace. I thought it was really, really nice. Perfect layering necklace for what I like. You know, inside, it's long, it's 30 inches. And outside, it's inside, and you can, you know, you wear it inside out or outside of whatever you're wearing. And I thought it went really nicely with my um, Etsy necklace. Um, this is from Gianni Bernini, I believe, is the um, designer. At Macy's, it was 105 I just checked it today. It went on sale for $47, which with an extra 20% off. So I will be going to Macy's either today or tomorrow to get my little price adjustment. Um, and it's um, perfect layering chain, so love it. <clears throat> Adding to my t-shirt chains. And all of the Labor Day sales are popping up now, and I'm like, oh, I'm trying to be so good. But we'll see how good or how bad I am. <laughs> Anyway, so those are, uh, that's the necklaces I'm wearing today, uh, same earrings, uh, nothing changed there. I've got this little, uh, um, skull neck, uh, ring. I've had this for a while. I bought this from Topshop and, um, Apple Watch and just this little, um, square bangle gold bracelet. I've got my Alexander McQueen's. And I'm a little taller today because I'm wearing a black heel. I could wear some. I could wear a black a black cardigan over my outfit because it's chilly, um, and it was sort of chilly this morning. Uh, I think it's supposed to be hot though later, so for lunchtime I'll take it off when I go out. But just a regular H&M tank, and this neon skirt from J Crew. I'm wearing my little <coughs> black Fendi with my little. Carlito. Alright, so. Let's see how it fits today. And the shoes are from Shoots. S, what is it? S C H U T Z. Um, I haven't worn these in a while, but um, when I was thinking up the outfit last night, I was like, hmm, maybe I'll pull these out. And I didn't realize that they actually have the same yellow, uh, the same neon yellow in the insoles, uh, in the inside. So it, they peek out a little bit. And the um, heel is like a fur leopard, and so is the strap. So, I thought that was um, a nice touch. Uh, yeah, so that is the outfit for today. Um, I'm going to run downtown, I think, on my lunch hour and check out the Veramete store. They're having 40% off for a Labor Day, and I want a tiny ring to go on this finger and they have the perfect one I want it's not gold unfortunately they only make it in brass but I have a couple of brass pieces that haven't changed that haven't turned they've kept their um and I don't know brass doesn't turn 
I don't know. In which case, it's a pretty, really thin ring and it has a little lip on it, little lips. It's so pretty and it's so tiny, so they have 40% off that. So I'm gonna run down to their store at lunchtime and uh, see what they've got. Um, and that's about it, guys. I will be talking to you tomorrow. Take care, bye. Good morning, YouTube. It is Thursday, September 1st. Rainy and a little chilly. Well, it's not really chilly, but it feels like it should be chilly. It's like 70 degrees. It's chilly for me. Um, but anyway, it is September. Uh, oh, I got my pal necklace from L&M. I love this necklace. It's so pretty and sparkly. But I got it, and one of the rhinestones are missing the last rhinestone in the P. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. So it looks like it says ow. Uh, anyway, I emailed them to see what can be done. Is it easier for them to send me a couple of the red or pink rhinestones so that I can glue them in myself and have a couple of extra in case this falls out? Um, I This ended up being $47 with um, shipping and all, so I mean, I could go to Michael's or around the city here and try to match the stone, but eh, I really don't have time for that. So I'll see what they say, but I really do love it. Otherwise, it's very well made, very sparkly, very different. So I will be walking around with Al until, yeah, we figure out what's best to be done. Which brings me to my next point. Um, which is why I don't mind walking around with ow for now, because I got my ears done yesterday. So ow, <laughs> it's, you know, apropos. So for this ear, I had them change it out to an orbital um, piercing. I love the way it looks. It looks so cool, I think, so cool. Um, so it's just um, a ring going through the two piercings that I already had. And on the back, it goes through as well. And so, in about three months, <clears throat> I'm going to start working on the orbital that I want here. And I say working because first they have to pierce it, then it has to heal, which probably takes a year, and then they can put the jewelry in. So, in three months, I'll have them do that and um, start that process. So, by next September, I'll have the, um, well, next, if it's three months from now, next December, next January, whatever, I'll be able to... Um, get the jewelry put in and on this side I had them so I had them swap out the two rings that were here and put it on this side um, the top one is a fresh piercing um, and the this one was already there so ow which is what my necklace says now so we'll see I still do highly recommend um, Jen's uh, um, <clears throat> jewelry this is actually sold out for now so I am very interested to see what they'll do what she'll do in regards to sending me um, extra rhinestones I really don't want to send it back because it's gonna take forever for me to get it again but I really do like it I think it's so cool um, and with my other pieces it's the perfect pow so again this is the necklace from Etsy the satellite chain and this is the necklace from Macy's um, which today I'm going to go and get my money back because it was 105 and it's on sale now for $47 um, with an extra 20 so yay. Um, and the rings, I'm wearing this piece from A Peace Treaty. <laughs> this was one of my first pieces from them. Um, and my L&M <coughs> cigar cuff. So yay for jewelry and my Apple Watch. Um, oh, and I have this little beauty that I pulled out of my collection. I haven't worn her in a while. Um, this is my Fendi, um, and I rush, I was in a rush this morning. I just stra uh, strapped this Gucci scarf around the um, handle. I gotta do it tied a little better. But um, this bag, let me close it for a minute. This bag I've had for a number of years now when Sex in the City was oh, all the rage. Carrie had a gold Fendi baguette that I needed to have, couldn't find it, 
So this was the closest that um, I got to it. Um, beautiful bag. It is fabric and it has the silver and gold uh, Fendi um, lettering. It has this beautiful silver um, kind of glitter, <clears throat> um, I don't know, in, inlet, inset, and then the Fendi, the gold Fendi logo. And then inside it has a very, very pretty blue, blue lining. So I used to only wear this bag <clears throat> when I went out as a little treat, but I figured, you know what, it's time to start wearing this bag because God knows I never go out. And the strap is just a, like a, le a leather, a metallic leather. So I have this Fendi scarf that I've had for years as well that I never used because I don't like, I don't really like scarves. But I figured, let me wrap it around the handle of the bag. It's like this beautiful hot, um, neon, hot orange, like bright neon orange and bright pinks and uh, yellows. And it's, it's just a beautiful scarf. Um, so I just wrapped it around and I thought it went really well with the, uh, with the bag. It kind of toned it down to me. It toned it down a little bit. So that is the green pleated dress from H&M. Some shoes from, it's a, what is it? A, I think it's a Vince Comuto brand. Etsy? At, uh, I forget the name of the shoe, but anyway, they're shoes. And, um. It's the black cardigan because it's chilly outside from Old Navy. And these are Louis at Sea, I believe the shoes are called. And they have this nice buckle. Um, so Louis, I think it's Louis, Louis at Sea. Um, it is, I think it's either a Vince, I think it's a Vince Camuto <coughs> line. So that is the outfit for the day. Um, and this is it for me. Labor Day weekend. I don't think I'm really doing anything on Monday. I think I'm just going to chill at home. Maybe have my sister come over and her kids, but I think I'm just going to chill. I usually go up to my brother's house, but they just came back from like a two week vacation and they're coming over on uh, Saturday because I'm having a little, little get together for my son. He's going to be two tomorrow. <laughs> Terrible dues. Um, so I'm having a little barbecue on Saturday and I know I'm just going to be way too tired to travel up to Pennsylvania. So I think I'm just going to stay home and chill. And then Tuesday, uh, is the first day of school for my little one, um, uh, first day of preschool. Um, so I probably will not be back and I don't think I'm going to vlog or anything. I probably not, will not be back until Wednesday, which when I is when I'll be back to work, but hopefully I can get some, um, Maybe I can get a video um, up uh, showing my, if I ever get it, my Louis Vuitton scarf and my All Saints jacket. Maybe I'll put that up um, in the meantime, but we'll see. So I hope you guys have a great Labor Day weekend, those of you who are in the States. And I will see you next Wednesday. Take care.